Hi everyone, welcome back to the Pharma Q&A discussion. So today's Q&A discussion is based on the recent alert issued for a therapeutic drug, which is very commonly used. So without any further delay, let's move on to the question of the day. And the question is, which of the following drug can cause dress syndrome? A choice, methanamic acid. B choice, carbamazepine. C choice, phenytoin. D choice, allopurinol. E choice, vancomycin. And last choice, all of the above. Okay, so what is dress syndrome? So dress syndrome is the abbreviated form of a syndrome which is called as drug reaction. Drug reaction with the isinophilia. drug reaction with the isnophilia and uh, systemic symptoms so if you take the first letter of this uh, uh, expanded form d r e s s so that is what it is what is called as dress dress syndrome drug reaction with isnophilia and uh, systemic symptoms so what is all about it's basically it, it is a life threatening adr life threatening adverse drug reaction life threatening adverse drug reaction okay so mainly it is a kind of a hypersensitivity reaction in fact it is a delayed delayed hypersensitivity reaction delayed hypersensitivity means allergic reaction so delayed hypersensitivity reaction so since it is a delayed kind of allergic reaction this will come under which adverse reaction yes it is type 4 adverse reaction type 4 adverse reaction okay so basically it's a kind of an allergic hypersensitivity reaction which in fact it is a delayed one and coming to the cause so one reason is that sometimes the reactivation of certain virus so viral reactivation is one reason so viral reactivation can cause this kind of uh, syndrome especially epstein bar virus ebv ebv virus that is epstein bar virus sometimes herpes virus can herpes virus reactivation can also result in this kind of uh, hypersensitivity reaction the second main reason is mainly due to drugs that is why I told this is a delayed or life-threatening adverse drug reaction. So, a certain drug can cause, result in the dress syndrome. Okay. Now, coming to the symptoms. Coming to the symptoms, there are uh, there, there is mainly skin manifestation is there. Skin-related symptoms are there. And uh, systemic manifestations are there. Systemic manifestations are there systemic symptoms are there mainly the skin related symptom as then uh, as i told it's a uh, hypersensitivity reaction so mainly the rashes this is uh, the skin rashes are the one of the main symptom and it will look like the measles measles rashes okay so rashes is one of the main skin manifestation what is seen in the dress syndrome now coming to the systemic manifestation include the fever Okay, then as the name, as the dress uh, the, uh, name indicates, isinophilia, there will be increase in the isinophil isinophilia. So that also is a reason for the hypersensitivity reaction. Also, why it is a life threatening? Because organ dysfunction can happen. Organ dysfunction can happen. Mainly, the liver dysfunction can happen. It, this can affect the liver. Lungs can be affected. Kidney will be affected. So in the case of severe dress symptoms the kidney liver lungs even the heart could be affected so that is why this hypersensitivity reaction can even cause organ dysfunction so that is why it is a life threatening hypersensitivity reaction okay so these are the symptoms which is mainly uh, uh, seen in this uh, dress syndrome okay so uh, as i told the main reason is uh, viral reactivation could be one reason and uh, the drugs could be certain drugs can also result okay so now recently the indian pharmacopoeia commission ipc indian pharmacopoeia commission has issued an alert for the drug called as methanamic acid so methanamic acid you know it is a non steroidal anti-inflammatory drug 
a non steroidal anti inflammatory drug widely used in the case of uh, uh, menstrual cramps so to re reduce that menstrual cramps the nsaid mefenamic acid commonly known under the brand name meftal it is widely used meftal okay and also uh, apart from menstrual cramps it is widely used to reduce the pain to decrease the pain in rheumatoid arthritis this drug is widely used because it is a non steroidal anti inflammatory drug so in fact this mefenamic acid is a commonly used nsaid now recently the indian pharmacopeia commission has issued an alert for this mefenamic acid based on the adverse reaction found with this drug and what was that adverse reaction yes that is the dress syndrome so this mefenamic acid has shown to produce this this dress syndrome that is why the ipc has issued an alert for this uh, mefenamic acid and this has been reported in the pharmaco vigilance program of india database in the pvpi database in the pvpi database this alert has been issued it has been reported and the adr is mainly the dress syndrome that means mefenamic acid is a drug which has to be given the alert and it can cause uh, the dress syndrome okay now uh, which are the other drugs that can cause uh, dress syndrome so drugs which causes dress syndrome drugs causing the dress syndrome let us look into which all drugs causes the dress syndrome okay so for that you can remember the mnemonic mesna you can remember the mnemonic mesna van mesna van where m stands for already discussed mefenamic acid mefenamic acid meftal has got uh, has a chance to uh, cause this dress syndrome so m stands for mefenamic acid and e stands for epilepsy epilepsy treating drugs epilepsy treating drugs mainly the drugs which given for epilepsy like carbamazepine carbamazepine has a tendency to has high alert for the dress syndrome so carbamazepine can cause the dress syndrome apart from carbamazepine phenytoin is one anti epileptic drug which has shown to cause a dress syndrome levetiracetam levetiracetam has shown cause the dress syndrome lamotrigin lamotrigin also has shown to cause the dress syndrome so anti epileptic drug like carbamazepine phenytoin are the major drugs which can has a tendency to cause dress syndrome so e stands for the epilepsy treating drugs like carbamazepine and phenytoin now s stands for the sulfonamide drugs sulfonamide drug mainly the sulfonamide drugs include sulfasalicin 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 you know that it is given for the ulcerative colitis sulfasalicin and the, the combination of sulfa methoxazole and trimethoprim you know that the cotrimoxazole cotrimoxazole so sulfasalicin and cotrimoxazole are the sulfonamide drugs which can has a tendency to cause a dress syndrome and n stands for the anti viral drug anti hiv drug called as nevirapine nevirapine it is a nnrta drug given for the H treating hiv nevirapine then a stands for the anti the drug given for gout that is allopurinol allopurinol has a tendency to cause a dress syndrome and van stands for and the antibiotic vancomycin okay so these drugs there are some other drugs are also there but mostly the high tendency to cause dress syndrome is shown by these drugs and you can remember this uh, mnemonic mesna van where van stands for vancomycin m stands for mefenamic acid e stands for the epilepsy treating drug like carbamazepine phenytoin s stands for the sulfa drugs n stands for the nevirapine then a stands for allopurinol and v stands van stands for the vancomycin so these are the uh, drugs now one more point you need to remember how to treat uh, this uh, dress syndrome the treatment given for dress syndrome okay how to treat dress syndrome so the first thing you need to do to treat in the treatment or the first step that is adopted in the case of dress syndrome is that you need to stop the drug which cause this dress syndrome stop the drug or the stop the treatment which has caused the dress syndrome 
Okay, so if mephenemy has it has shown to cause dress syndrome, immediately it has to be stopped. So that is the first thing. Now the second approach, you will see how the symptom is. Okay, so if the symptoms are not severe, it's if it is not severe, if it is not severe, the method will be to for, do a follow up uh, to reduce the temperature. You can give paracetamol. In the case of uh, small rashes, you can give antihistamines. So if it is not severe. You can just uh, have a follow-up and uh, use uh, this paracetamol kind of uh, drug to bring down the fever. For this uh, allergic reaction, you can use the histamine. However, if the uh, this dress syndrome is severe, we need to check two things. As I already told, this uh, dress uh, uh, syndrome could be uh, due to uh, the reactivation of virus. So, if there is an evidence for the viral uh, reactivation, if the if the severe if the dress syndrome is severe and it is due to the viral reactivation. You need to start. You need to start with the antiviral drug that is intravenous jancyclovir. Jancyclovir. Okay. So that has to be given uh, followed by the oral uh, jancyclovir. So this antiviral drug has to be started if it is if that uh, dress syndrome is due to the viral reactivation. Whereas if the if it is due to the drug, if it is due to cost due to the drug. Then uh, the first strategy mostly adopted will be is to use the corticosteroids. Prednisolone you can you start with. Corticosteroids are given. Corticosteroid drugs mainly prednisolone. So it can bring down the inflammations. Prednisolone, and you can also try if uh, to an, if an, if if, if uh, corticosteroids are not used, uh, then cyclosporins are used as an alternative to corticosteroids. So cyclosporin, as you know, it's an immunosuppressant. Because in dress syndrome, there is a hypersensitivity reaction. Uh, the immune T cells are involved. So bring, to bring down the uh, immu immune activation, you can use the immunosuppressant cyclosporin. The other strategies which is adopted is that um, the intravenous immunoglobulin. Intravenous immunoglobulin could be done. So this can also decrease the inflammation, IV immunoglobulin. It can decrease the inflammation. Also, sometimes the filtration of blood could be a best solution. Filter the blood or that is a plasma exchange that is called as the plasma pheresis. Plasma pheresis, that is nothing but the plasma exchange. So after the filtration of the blood, the, the filtered blood could be returned back to the circulation. So normally corticosteroids or you can start with the cyclosporin as an alternative. The intravenous immunoglobulin could be tried. And also the plasma is an ideal option. It's a kind of a dia similar to the dialysis. You can filter the blood and return the filtered blood back to the circulation. So these are the normal strategies which are used. Normally the corticosteroids, the immunosuppressants like uh, cyclosporin or the uh, intravenous immunoglobin or plasma pheresis. That is the plasma exchange. Okay. Now coming back to our question. Uh, the question was which drug can cause the dress syndrome? So as I already told, you can remember the mnemonic MESNA. Mesna van, where van stands for vancomycin, M stands for mephenemic acid, E stands for the epilepsy, tre epilepsy treating drug like carbamazepine, phenytoin, S stands for the sulfonamide, N stands for nevirapine, A stands for allopurinol. So that means all the drugs which is given here can cause dress syndrome. So the correct answer would be F choice, all of the above. So hope you understood this discussion session. Keep on watching. Thank you.